Hey everyone, just a quick check-in. Um, I'm officially over. I'm officially 25 over the hill. Uh, <laughs> I have had a photographer call me an older model. So hey, I'm getting on up there apparently. I'm just kind of checking in, popping in. Don't have a ton to say except I'm madly in love with laser cutting and have been laser cutting the heck out of everything. And also, I think I might have to promote Ben and Jerry's right now because this is fantastic. New York Super Fudge Chunk. Also, Ben and Jerry's, fun fact, when we're playing logos, has a cow as their mascot. I did not know that, but I do know it's fantastic and I've been eating it. Um, so laser cutting at school, uh, I just used the photo lab for the first time today. You just go in there and say you want to use the photo studio during the day or you sign up for time at night, which is what I did. I went in there for four and a half hours and I felt pretty successful about it. I used the light sweep. Um, I just love being able to walk into a studio that's already set up instead of trying to like cram it in the back of your room. Which this place looks dirtier since we talked last. At least no piles of clothes on the floor, they're all in the hamper. Let's see. Oh, laser cutting. I am super stoked about etching with the laser cutter. I have not yet figured out the exact and perfect way how to cut through with the laser cutter. I'm not fantastic in Illustrator, so I've been <clears throat> kind of like ghetto rigging JPEG images so it will turn them black and white and just cut out cut or etch the black areas. I should go get some laser cuts after eating more Ben and Jerry's. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, and we're back. Um, I wanted to show the laser cuts that I cut today and some of my first ones. I started out, well, okay, here. This is what happened today in this order. I painted on some tiles with some PPO paint that you cook in the oven. Something I'd never tried before. I got it as a Christmas gift. Thank you, Brian's mom. And I gave that a shot, baked them last night, and then laser cut on top of them. Some of them I think were more successful than others. These two were at a real, uh, fairly high power. And then I tried this one because I wanted to be able to see more of the paint color in the white zones, but I think it just kind of got it a little muddled. Not as big of a fan, but like still it's, it's like a cool effect. It almost looked like there's lightning jetting through the piece, so maybe, maybe not for that. <laughs> Um, I cut those today, and between now and the ones that I did, I'm getting ready to show you. I think I spent an hour and a half cutting because I, I just, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love, like, the possibility it brings, and I do not have a steady hand when it comes to, like, trying to paint or, like, hand lettering is just like, haha, Jenna, that's, like, way beyond your abilities. But I can totally hand letter with a laser cutter. So I had, this is one of my favorite and I think most successful paintings that I did. I, this is one of the first ones I started out with painting and then laser cut words on top of it. It's one of my poems. And I feel like these were pretty successful. This one is a little hard to see. And then, oh, this one is a tree. Boop. Hey. And this was my very, very first laser cut that was not on test board. I decided to make the font bigger. And I did that. So it's just kind of like a process of adjusting and figuring out exactly what I want. Um, I did do a photo shoot today. Well, I was talking about that earlier. And I fast motion videoed the entire thing and will be uploading that on Patreon. Or hopefully by the time this gets posted, it has already been uploaded on Patreon for today, uh, which is September 18th. Uh, I just wanted to kind of like give a behind the scenes like so into a look of a self-portrait shoot and then also showed um, I don't remember what else I showed. Uh, I don't know. I was just this was my very first time in the studio at school and I was learning learning the ropes and thought I'd share what I learned. Hmm. What else happened today? Oh, we had a critique in our radical procedures class and mine is this Wednesday. I am very nervous slash excited. It's about laser cut pieces, so fingers crossed. Wish me luck on that. Um, we did a reading in my installation class, and that was very in intense. <laughs> it was good, though. I did a lot of learning. I'd already read it, so that was nice to kind of almost be on top of it, but rereading it with a class made it make a lot more sense. I felt like I kind of just, well, I didn't understand something. I'd kind of like skip through it on my own, but I guess that's it for right now. I 
should get this online and get editing and get going. But yay! Bye! <laughs> hey, just kidding. Not actually gone yet. I thought of a couple more things I wanted to talk about. Last week I had a bug bite and it ended up, it started out like this big and then it got this big and this big and this big and eventually it got to be this big. But I went to the doctor before it got too bad. And when it was quarter silver dollar size, I went in and they gave me some antibiotics. So I got on those. I was at Labor Day at the Lake at USI, which I so love to go to what used to be Kramer's Lake, which is now New Beginnings Lake. But apparently some sort of critter got me. And I don't know, I had like normal bug, like some normal bug bites, but that one just like went crazy. Crazy mosquitoes. And... So that was last, or the week before last week. It was a little drama full of like bug bites and allergist visits. And I called, I went to the UC clinic here and I got antibiotics. And then I called back the next day. I'm like, oh, it's twice as big. And they're like, you need to go to the emergency room. I was like, oh, I don't want to go. <laughs> so I went to a different doctor instead. That little bit of drama happened. And then I've also been having quite a bit of discontentment with school. And I didn't know how to talk about it. And right now I'm a little bit over it. So I'm kind of like digging back in with a fresh headspace. But I've just, I've been struggling with how not to keep monetizing my art because that seems like a hundred percent of what they teach there. They don't teach how to sell art or to make art for money or to work as an artist and I'm hoping that they will teach us how to work as an well like working as an artist they are teaching but it's like from an educational standpoint like you got your job as a teacher and you make art I don't know when you make art when you're a teacher <laughs> hopefully you do but it was mostly non basing on making art as a living and that's something I feel really passionate about like I just want to be able to make art for my means of an income so I've been struggling with learning how to cope with that and just I, 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 there's a couple other like coping things I'm kind of working out right now but this week's been felt like a really fresh new week and I'm excited for it so fingers crossed it's a great week <laughs> so we'll see bye again we'll see what happens <laughs> goodbye